Hello Newcastle fans TV and welcome to Doncaster 2, Newcastle 2, highlights in a moment. First of all, Newcastle went down on a really, really hot day, it was 27 degrees in Doncaster. Here they are, uh, literally, uh, as they arrive and the players in training as well. So you might have seen that Wijnaldum was in there as well. There's rumours going around all over the place that Wijnaldum was in Holland. He was he was basically kind of getting his transfer to Liverpool. Uh, just before the game, he was named very, very late, along with Tauvin, to be fair, very, very late on the substitute bench as well. Newcastle lined up with Sells, Yamat, Lascelles, and Bemba, Colback, Richie, and Nita playing left back. Uh, Shelby, Aarons, Armstrong, and Mitrovic. Uh, he has the action from the game. So those were the goals Newcastle's defending chaos again as per usual. But it's only pre-season. You can't really grumble too much. You know, this is what you learn. You learn at mistakes and analyse them because Rafa is a perfectionist at analysing. We're also seeing second half appearances from Steri Perez. Um, he had a really good game second half. Here's uh, Gamas played left back as well. Gufran, Dummett, Gale, all half-time substitutes. Tauvin for Armstrong come on the 62nd minute and also seen Wijnaldum for the final 13 minutes. Armstrong in particular in the first half looked very, very lively. Shelby to be fair as well looked up for it. He was demanding the ball and that's what I like to see from a midfielder. Newcastle looked nice on the ball but going forward they didn't really penetrate although Armstrong was very lively. You've seen the goalkeeping errors there. Matt Sells was all over the place. That's not going to do him any good especially with Darlow wanting to be number one goalkeeper with maybe Krull's future in the year and... Elliot out up until October. It was just awful marking for the second goal as well. You could uh, there could be a number of players at fault there because the action happened so quickly. You couldn't really analyse it. It's that Lascelles with the header goal perhaps have got tighter, but you know uh, it's mistakes. You've got to learn from them. I'm sure Rafael, like I said, will sit down and we're looking through it. The second half, however, and it was a glittery a game of two halves. Newcastle was so, so much better. Hayden going close and then he grabbed himself a goal there with a looped header. It took a deflection on the shot. Well, the header shot. Uh, he also um, had a really good second half. He was probably man in the match for Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle, like I said, looked so much stronger. Iosi Perez coming on, give him a big breath of fresh air. He hit the upright in the second half and he also grabbed a stoppage time equaliser as well, which was a nice little finish, which the which the defender tried to block it off the line, which you've already seen there. So he played really, really well. So all in all, <laughs> reviewing it, I'm not going to review too much. Newcastle defensively looked a little bit shaky, but it's pre-season. We probably we haven't got the strongest side out yet. The question I've, I've I've seen in the last in the last two games now is the left back. He's played Cole back at left back, and he's also played Hazas Gamas at left back as well. Now I wonder what Rafa's thinking there. Is he thinking right? Okay, Paul Dummett is going to be my left back through and through this season. I need to see if there's an injury problem to Dummett, who can come in and step in. That's what I'm thinking. That he's thinking. Maybe you guys in your comment section down below think something different. Um, also. Armstrong looked no well. Armstrong looked lively. Had no qualms about him going in. If he keeps his uh, impressive, he was impressive. But he just needs a goal, you know, in preseason. Um, so the couple of options there. Um, Wijnaldum's that's going to rumble on, isn't it? Um, the thing I like about Wijnaldum is the crowd were chanting from "We want you to stay. We want you to stay, Gini Wijnaldum. We want you to stay." And then the, after that, they were going. We want you to go. We want you to go. Musa Sissoko. We want you to go. Just shows you the difference between the two players. Whereas when Aldum's going about his business quiet, and Sissoko's effing, I want to leave. I'm um, 10 out of 10 and all this rubbish that he's been saying. But for me, I would love to see when Aldum play, stay and play. But 
Newcastle now head off to Belgium and I don't think Wijnaldum will be on there. I think it will probably go through the Liverpool deal because what Rafa said then, he said he's still our player at the moment and if the right offer doesn't come, he'll still remain our player. But we'll have to see. Uh, the quick as the soccer goes, the better. And Grant Hanley, if the, if the signing is likely to be announced uh, today, when you're watching this video later on today, I'll be doing a full video on the Grant Hanley, so make sure you stay tuned. And also remember, get uh, joining the Fantasy Football. Uh, there's the pin on screen now for you. Uh, join my Fantasy Football. There's a now a few teams. There's over a dozen teams now in there. And also keep an eye out for the Q&A for the 5,000. Right, I've been Lee on behalf of Newcastle Fans TV. See you later.